Hey, welcome back again. Today we're going to focus on an activity for the kids. Um, that'll be a great little one to help them fill in a bit of time um, during our stay at home isolation period uh, because of this COVID virus. Um, and I want to focus on using things that we already have in the house. Um, that way there's no going out to get things. Um, our main material we're going to use today is tin foil. Grease proof paper if you have any, or just old newspaper is fine too. I have some PBA glue that I have watered down. It is um, two thirds glue, one third water. I have a bowl for washing my fingers in, because working with glue you can get a build up of glue on your fingers. And a cloth to wipe my hands on. No, that's not a swimming pool for you. He loves to have a swim, this little fella. Now what we're going to do is get about two metres of foil, we strip it off, and then hold the centre of it. We always start with the centre, and today I'm quickly going to make up a, um, a little elephant. Um, I like to do the little elephants because, I don't know, I, I think I just like elephants. But you can make any, you can make any creature at all um, that you would like. You can make dogs, you can make cats, you can make all manner of things. So I've got his trunk and his ears sorted there. I'm now going to scrunch a bit into the back here for his head. And then I'm going to come down to his legs, so we just go down. We're not making a huge elephant because we don't have the time to do it. So that's the front leg. Now I'm doing the other front leg. So we're like this at the moment. Now I'm going to go straight to the back and do the back legs. You'll see why um, we do this in a minute. Make sure they're a nice solid leg. And then the rest of this foil we scrunch into his body. It's quite, it's quite a simple process and the foil is very forgiving. Now I want to make sure that he's going to stand up on its own accord. Just squeeze it and shape it. It's a good one. The kids can do it. The parents can do it. Anybody who wants to get their making on. Just put this down a bit. Anybody who wants to get their making on can make one of these um, simple armatures. Now it's all fairly loose while it's like this. You can actually get a little hammer and um, hammer it all down and get it all perfect. But there's actually no real need to do that at this stage because we're going to tighten it all up with our mache that we're going to put over it. Now, if you have plaster bandage, that's a good um, that's good to put on it. But if you don't have plaster bandage, we're just going to use the papers because, as I mentioned, I want to use things that you already have in the house. Now, paper does have a grain to it, and it's easier to tear it with the grain. So that is the grain of the paper. You'll notice how straight it tore. If I try to tear it this way, it's just going to do that. So go with the grain of your paper, and you'll get much neater, much neater bits of paper to work with. Now I'm just going to bring these down to pieces about this size. And then we're going to do a little piece of paper. See? Do you want to help me make it? And now I'm going to start wrapping the papier-mâché around my little armature. 
just squash it all in. The, um, the first bit is the hardest to get down because it's um, you're trying to glue to foil, which probably isn't the best base to glue down onto, but it will take and we will get there. Yeah, we will. You gonna say hello today? Hey? So I'm just dragging that through the glue, making sure I've got plenty on it, and then we'll wrap it around. If you don't have any glue in the house, and you've got corn flour, you can make a really good glue up with the corn flour. Um, all you need to do is get a cup of water, a couple of tablespoons of corn flour, um, heat it up, bring it to the boil, it'll thicken, and when I use that form of glue, I always put a bit of disinfectant in it. That disinfectant will help it stop from um, going mildew. See? You can have this piece. See? You want that bit? So as you can see, this paper's taking on to it now. More glue. No, you don't have glue. It'll glue your little beak together. Hmm? You can have paper. Been a bit chirpy today. So just keep shaping your creature as you go. No, it'll glue your beak together. Pop up. Come on, pop up. Good boy. So you can see our little elephant's taking shape there now, and now I'll come to his head. Get his ears done. Laurie, leave him alone.
So we don't have too much more to go on him. And then we'll be putting him away to dry. Um, after he dries, the kids can then have some fun painting him, decoupaging him, um, covering him in fabric. Ah, get out of there. Covering him in fabric, um, whatever way they want to decorate him, um, they can, and that can be another activity. What? Oh, do you want to go home? See? Do you want me to have to put you away? Crazy bird. Leave him. No. So I've got him all covered now. Um, so it's just a matter of tidying up the shape and making sure everything's sealed down. And I'll put a little tail on him. So there's our elephant, you can tighten his trunk up a little bit, I might put a little bend in his trunk, you can do those sorts of things while, you, while it's all still wet, but you won't be able to do it when it dries because the um, mache actually dries quite hard. And I want to put a little tail on him, so make sure he still stands firm. Out of there, you. Out. Go away. So to do the tail, I'm just going to fold and twist. Fold and twist. And then put his tail on over his back. And then we'll do one little wrap around. There. Got one more bit of foil there that's not covered yet. Just cover that up, shape it around his ear, and now I'll just go through and firm it all down. But that's how you can make a simple little sculpture using things that you already have in the house. Great activity for the kids to do. Um, if you have any questions or want to ask me anything about these activities, by all means, just, just contact us on the, um, on the Facebook page. So there's our little elephant made out of foil and paper and glue. Thanks for watching.